here and there, uh, basically a couple of probes, still managing to get an extremely effective harass, and we'll see what Bisu does with his, uh, if he's going to come up with a dropship here. Uh, he still has that dropship out, my guess is he's just waiting for a reaver, but man, his, his economies have been so harassed. He might have a reaver in that dropship, I'm not sure what he has. A tank of vulture, uh, a couple things out, otherwise out, um, and we'll see uh, if up magic looks like he, he might be producing a wraith here, maybe some more dropships, I'm not sure. I'm really surprised that more Terran don't go drop, I think it's a really effective thing to do against Protoss, especially uh, on maps like this. Um, and it looks like uh, Upmagic going to expand a third time, going to try to basically... Uh, he's already got a slight economic advantage, going to try to seal that economic advantage, that dropship's... Uh, that shuttle being spotted out by that dropship. Now Bisu... I'm sorry, Upmagic going backside and going to be able to take out yet another two probes. So doing a very effective job uh, with kind of a vulture harass, and really, I, I like this. I like the fact that a very creative build from Upmagic. I love watching him for that reason, and we'll see how Bisu responds. And now, as you can see, that wraith out, um, and that wraith is really going to be... Uh, honestly, I've, I was saying this, uh, I forget who I was talking to, I was talking to them earlier and saying, I don't understand why more Terran don't go with that early Wraith uh, just to kind of fight off the shuttle basically, you, all you need is one or two Wraiths and those shuttle drops really are almost entirely nullified, uh, because even if they get a Dragoon in the background, you can kind of uh, you can kind of mix between the two and a, another drop, uh, manage to get a single shot off uh, basically, on, and now watch uh, as you can see, doing a very good uh, kind of dropship versus uh, shuttle micro and up magic in the meantime going you know, to uh, bring that vulture into the probe line kind of distract Bisu a little bit and and up magic we'll see what he do does from here I'm surprised he hasn't gotten more factories down maybe they're down off screen uh, you can see that wraith in the corner just waiting kind of for, for some prey and it looks like Bisu did manage to finally take out that vulture um, basically on <laughs> at the back side of his base Bisu now switching into kind of a carrier build and we saw Stork do this but uh, we'll see if up magic uh, he doesn't look like he has comm set yet he does need to scout this out if he's going to be able to counter it. It uh, looks like he is going to get an academy. The question is, is will he comps at it in time? And how will he adjust? And as we saw in the finals against mine, Mind was very effective at fighting that off, uh, basically with some wraiths, and we'll see if, if basically Up Magic decides to kind of go wraith against this. And it looks like he might be going for a drop in the main. He might get, a, and with that drop, he may not be successful with that drop, but he may uh, basically be able to get the scout off. And it looks like two carriers going to come out already, um, and this wraith going to come out, uh, going to be sent back by the. It looks like Up Magic is actually going to um, kind of uh, tr just keep uh, going over this edge. And I'm surprised Bisu has enough to go. In fact, I'm not even sure if he does. He might not have enough to kind of really deal with this. And Up Magic. Magic managing to take down a single dragoon, but more dragoons going to fight this back. And uh, up Magic in a bit of trouble here, unless he gets a scan, unless he gets the information. Looks like he's going to bring the SCV up. The question: This is absolutely vital. Uh, looks like he got a comp set. He did see the starport or the stargates. Um, he has a lot of tanks down, so he's just going to push up with the tanks now uh, and try to do as much damage as possible. In the meantime, going to uh, looks like some factories going down. We'll see uh, what he decides to do at this point. And wow, Bisu does not have enough forces on the ground really to deal with this. Uh, not at all. And uh, it looks like Bisu's going to. I'm sorry, up Magic's going to try to end this before those carriers are out and this is just turning into an incredible game I'm gonna bring up so uh, basically those SCVs the SCVs to kind of repair the tanks um, and, and we'll see basically be I don't think BC is gonna be able to hold this off he's just trying to delay it until he can get some carriers up uh, and we'll see if up magic can basically adjust my question is is, uh, is he even gonna bother with there it looks like he's gonna push this in uh, using those SCVs to repair the tanks just to, uh, even if the carriers get down he's gonna try to get some turrets down it looks like a uh, Bisu desperately trying to get a ba uh, uh, basically a couple hits on these SCVs to keep those turrets from going up um, and wow, Up Magic, I think, has just taken the game, pushing in with the tanks he had, running in with the vultures now, realizing that Bisu just did not have enough forces on the ground. Here comes the two carriers. Will the turrets be up in time? And even if the turrets are up in time, will that be enough to stop them? And that's really going to be, I, I think that might be it. Those turrets are up. They are going to be able to delay long enough. And the question is, is Bisu even going to bother defending his front, or is he just going to try to inflict as much damage as he can uh, on Up Magic and try to recover from this point? I don't think he's really going to have the option to do that, though. Um, he's been mining out of his main, although it, it's been disturbed this entire time. And Up Magic doing everything right in this game. I'm very impressed impressed with his play and it looks like the armory is now up for up magic so he's probably going to start producing goliaths here uh, shortly i didn't see if charm booster was upgrading that that secondary is down beast in a ton of trouble here those carriers now pushing out uh but they're going to be yeah greeted warmly by all those turrets as you can see just um, starting to fall back they don't even have interceptors and he, in fact is opting just going uh just straight go straight for uh, up magic up magic going to send an scv out maybe to try to build another expansion um and wow beast who totally sealed in doesn't uh, and really uh, we'll see if up magic decides to move up uh and just attack this point Several Goliaths out, and that's going to be plenty to deal, uh, plenty to deal with those just the. Uh, um 
those two carriers. And uh, really, with a map like this, where you have that wide open space, I don't think there's anything that that uh, that Bisu can do to win this game at this point. Um, really, he was kind of betting, and he's going to bring that dropship alongside. But really, it's not going to be enough. And as you can see, getting caught um, by those Goliaths alongside, he's absolutely pinned, and it's just a matter of time trying to get uh, a decent sized force up. But really, I think it's uh, I think we're going to see a couple more tanks from Up Magic here, uh, and that'll be it. And and now we'll see if that Wraith. I I'm curious if that Wraith is going to um, come back. He, he did spot that out. I'm not sure if that Wraith is even still alive. Let's see if he. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he has a dropship. He can kind of go defend uh, this area, but uh, as you can see, that observer spotting it out, and Reaver's gonna, uh, a Reaver and a Dragoon gonna be dropped here. Um, he, and it looks like Up Magic just gonna opt to attack. And now here, here you see that Wraith coming into play. Um, uh, I would actually go after the shuttle instead of the Dragoon. Uh, and let the the SCVs try to take care of the the dragoon, but uh, instead it looks like that that wraith was in fact taken care of by the single dragoon. Didn't have enough out. Basically, that that's why I say uh, two and cloak. But anyway, that but we'll see. Um, I'm sure someone will give me a comment and say wraith's not effective at all. But whatever. Um, so up magic losing a single expansion, but really uh, Bisu not uh, as you can see severely sealed in. It's just going to be a few seconds here before. Uh, it's absolutely. He's. I think he's just going to get run over. Three more carriers out, though. Uh, I'm surprised that Up Magic just letting him kind of build up like this. Uh, he has a lot of Goliaths out, but he hasn't continued to press in. Now he's starting to press in with the tanks. And the question is, is uh, will Beast be able to defend with this handful of dragoons? Looks like look like uh, six or seven dragoons and uh, the the four carriers, and just going to try to use the map artifact while he can. And a comsat going off though, and the tanks starting to hammer the edge. Um, and, and yeah, as you can see, Beast backing up with those with those uh, dragoons, just going to try to save them to try to take out. Out, uh, the Goliaths, but Up Magic being very clever, not chasing the carriers, just going to bring uh, bring the Goliaths back, going to keep them uh, kind of in the safe, protective range of those siege tanks uh, while they take down the gateways. Uh, and, and, rel and really, Bisu has no option but to try to engage uh, on Up Magic's terms, and has to be very careful. Another carrier out, but I, I just don't think it's going to be enough. Up Magic, in the meantime, has three uh, three fully producing expansions. Now here comes Bisu, and this might be the final push here. Uh, if Bisu can defend this, he'll be able to stay in the game uh, to some degree. But it's going to depend how many carriers he has left after this. Uh, the Dragoons being uh, kind of pulled off by the tanks, and really I feel like that's a mistake. The Goliaths up north, in the meantime, uh, having a little bit of harassment. Oh, the Reaver went down, and that was huge. Uh, that might have been it. Uh, those Goliaths now starting to push up on those uh, on those carriers. Those carriers starting to fall back. Um, interceptors, as you can see, going down a little bit here. Beast is just trying to do his best to micromanage, but more Goliaths starting to flood in, and he doesn't have anything to protect his base anymore. Uh, a lot of Goliaths up in there. It looks like about nine Goliaths going to take on these five carriers. One carrier goes down, and and I think this is the end for Bisu. So it looks like uh, Up Magic is going to take game one. Really clever build by Up Magic. I really thought that was a fantastic build. Uh, GG called by Bisu. That was an awesome game. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, just really classic. Bisu looking a little bit stunned. Mole Trap's going to do game two, so go check him out. Also, again, check out sc2gg.com for all you guys getting back into StarCraft or want to improve your StarCraft game. Uh, Gravidian and Combat there have a lot of good tutorials. And Fouché, Fouché for all you, uh, for all the French speakers uh, who've been listening in. If you want to get something in your own language instead of having it translated uh, to English first, uh, go check them out. And again, uh, wow, fantastic match. Bisu looking a little bit frustrated. We'll see if he can bounce back confidence-wise into game two. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I think that was a, uh, that was really a classic match. Uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for listening.